say inflation is their number one concern. They're concerned about the affordability, the availability of energy right now. And so those are the concerns that he has to balance because inflation is such a high concern. And so when you talk about these wage gains, as he was talking about on Friday, uh, they have to balance that with the fact that that is being undermined by inflation. Look, everything the president just said that we just listened is true. It's also largely irrelevant. When inflation is where it's at, when you see gas prices going where, where it's at, we can talk about a jobs report here. We can talk about the latest PCE numbers of the CPI and all of us former Bloomberg reporters can really get into the weeds, right? But there's one number that they can't really change right now, and that is what the placard says at the local gas station. Yeah. And that number is high, and that's a daily jobs report that voters, that Americans, consumers see every day, and there's nothing the White House can do about it other and bring down the price of gasoline, which is tough. And, and, and maybe blame Putin. And he, th this week, the tagline was the Putin price hikes or something to that effect. Look, when I uh, drive past gas stations that say blame Putin more than they right. say let's go Brandon, I'll know the White House. Well, I'll know the White House. I'll know the White House has been successful in messaging it. That I mean, th that is fascinating in its own right. But like, take a look at this Quinnipiac poll. Americans just don't buy that this is related to the war to the war in Ukraine, and and most of it, frankly, is not. Um, Forty one percent say it's Biden's policies. Just twenty four percent say the war in Ukraine. Twenty four percent also say, uh, you know, the oil and gas companies are raising prices. But the White House is trying to do to do to both blame Putin, blame the oil and gas companies, but Americans just don't agree. Yeah, they're trying to uh, also, as you said, put this on oil and gas companies, put this on price gouging. They also have been trying to explain throughout it all that this is part of coming out of a recession and part of coming out of what the pandemic wrought. And uh, Americans, though, feel as though even though wages are increasing, that, that they're not increasing to the pace that prices are increasing. And so that's the difficulty there. You know, I also think part of that Democratic uh, gap in enthusiasm has a lot to do with Biden's stalled agenda. You know, when yeah. you talk to Democratic voters, they bring up the fact that he hasn't done anything on student debt. They bring up the fact that nothing has happened on voting rights. You know, young voters, Biden's numbers have dropped by double digits with young voters. I don't intend to be anybody but Joe Biden. That's who I am. <laughs> okay, Brandon. Why is the price of, of, of agricultural products, when I go to the store, why is it higher? Brandon! Guess what? They're closed those plants because they have COVID. Hey, Brandon! How dumb do you think I am? By the way, everybody internationally uses the Build Back Better now. When I used the phrase initially, people looked at me like, Build Back Better. I will chain you to a pipe in a crawl space! This bill, probably starting within the next uh, two to three months, as we get things, shovels and grounds. I will downsize your face with a shovel! I could take, I'm going to get in real trouble. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. A panel on CNN saying, let's go, Brandon. What the hell is that about? And criticizing Joe Biden, the man who they all got elected. What a weird turn for CNN. Maybe it's because CNN has the ratings of a dumpster fire that is falling into the abyss. CNN continues woes as network has lowest rated week in more than seven years. The lowest CNN's ratings have been in some people's lifetimes. <laughs> CNN has the lowest rated week more than seven years. Last week, the network's ratings struggled to continue. In the week ending on March 12th, CNN had an average weekday audience of 400,000 viewers. We have showed, we broadcast shows that regularly tip that number. We have more viewers than CNN. Okay, well, thank you. This is a time for us to pause and say thank you. We love you. CNN had an average weekday audience of 400,000 viewers, lowest total day ratings in the performance. Ladies and gentlemen, Fox News destroyed them with 1.35 million viewers. CNN hits 10-year low as Fox News glides to victory in cable news ratings. Yikes, man, 10-year low now. Ooh, it just keeps getting worse. February marks CNN's lowest rated month in a decade. With the network's primetime lineup dropping 42% among viewers at 25 to 54, the reason why that matters is because those are the people that buy a lot of the material in the marketplace. This is the key demographic valued by advertisers. Compared to the same month uh, one year ago, CNN drew an average primetime audience of 122,000 viewers. Huh? Holy cannoli. Man, cable news is just utterly and completely dying. 
Now, why is it dying? Uh, what is the autopsy of CNN? Well, CNN is, of course, a complete and total joke. CNN has laid off thousands of people this year. They've even ended an entire channel. Something called Headline News was a CNN channel that they have, and they completely took it out back and put a bullet in it. CNN listed themselves and their programming as their resistance against Orange Man. Man, okay, so Jeff Zucker said that he is the leader of the resistance, the Trump resistance. And that's why they clown themselves by publishing. Remember these? The fact-checking Chiron? Trump, I never said Japan should have nukes. He did. Got him, CNN. Derp. It's just so utterly grotesque and embarrassing for CNN. The ratings continue apace, an absolute and total slaughterhouse. And speaking of slaughterhouses, CNN is getting completely and totally destroyed in the streets as CNN reporters are getting robbed in San Francisco. Thieves break into CNN reporters' rental car. This is after the network agitated for the defunding of police. This uh, is the reporter crew la. It's my best attempt at pronouncing that name. Got robbed again. We were at City Hall in San Francisco to do an interview. We had security with us, but in under four seconds, thieves broke into our car. She called them jerks. You're not allowed to call them jerks. Don't you understand? They're mostly peaceful thieves. You're seeing behind me is one of multiple locations that have been burning in Kenosha, Wisconsin, over the course of the night. What you are seeing now, these images came and come in stark contrast to what we saw over the course of the daytime hours in Kenosha and into the early evening, which were largely peaceful demonstrations in the face of law enforcement. So going back to CNN's problems, this reporter, even after her network marketed and merchandised the hands up, don't shoot lie agitated against police, agitated in favor of police forces being defunded. Well, now look at the chickens coming home to roost. San Francisco is a beautiful city. City, this is our third day here. But even if you visit the city, know that if you have hired security, it still is not enough. And she posts this video of her car that had been smashed and broken into. And what did Carrie Lake clap back at her? Fake leftist news CNN reporter who spent two years denigrating me as an America First candidate working to make our streets safer claims she is a victim of the crime in a leftist run city. Americans should not have to hire security to protect the park car. People are sick of CNN. They're sick of the programming. CNN's now desperate to try and get people in the center or the middle to watch. That's why they're criticizing Joe Biden doing actual reporting. And while we commend them for that, you're too far gone. People are tired of the bull. People are tired of being force fed propaganda. They just wanted a news channel. They knew that. MSNBC was left wing. They knew that Fox was right wing. They know that Newsmax is right wing. They're aware that there are conservatives online that actually tell you what they believe and what they believe in. They're sick and tired of the propaganda. They're sick of the little pithy fat fact checks. They're tired of smug reporters like this who happily probably donated to BLM and to the defund the police movement and are now screaming and bitching and mewling that they're the ones getting robbed. Well, welcome to the party, pal. And by the way, speaking of being robbed, there's not going to be anything left. CNN's ratings are so bad, that network is going to be sold again, probably, for pocket change. They've already been sold on the auction block. They fired all of their main anchors. The entire place is in total chaos and upheaval. And I doubt CNN will really survive, to be quite honest with you. And that'll be a, make for a much, much better America. Okay, next is The View. Got to get them off the air. We're working on it. <laughs> We're working on saving this country. Right alongside of you, we are fighting. My name is Benny. See ya. Thank you for watching. Our channel's here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears, they taste just like sweet, delicious ice cream. Salty, too. We ridicule the establishment and the libs because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you like what you saw, please punch the subscribe button, click like, and ring the little bell so that you know when we're live. Don't you want to know when we're live? And make sure that you subscribe to our email list just in case the plug gets pulled, as tends to happen. If you want to see more of our videos, click here or here. My name is Benny Johnson. Stay free. Base Patriots.